Hello Pilots, we have the Blade 360 CFX today and I'm going to go through a few steps on the AR7200. We're going to start with G, leveling the swash and getting zero pitch at mid stick. Then we're going to move on to J, setting a cyclic and then next to K where we set our maximum and negative pitch. Next thing we want to do is power up the 360. And it's probably best to unplug your motor for this process. Okay, hold the button down on the AR7200 until we get a solid light here. All right, and then push the button until we get to G. Okay, now we're in G. And as you can see, there's no light on, which means that the servos are set to midpoints. And this is where you would 90 your servo arms mechanically, get them as close as you can. And then, if they're off a little, by moving the rudder, one of the servos will move. And then you see this purple light comes on, okay? So you could adjust that servo arm if it's not quite 90 degrees by moving the elevator up and down. Okay, move the rudder and it goes to this servo bounced and you would tweak the arm to get it perfectly 90 degrees if needed again by moving the elevator up and down. So make sure all your servo arms are perfectly 90 now. At this point, if you have a swash level, you'd want to pull off the head and put a swash level on it and adjust your links from the servos to the swash until the swash level is perfectly level. Okay, so I'm going to check my swash using my SoCo gauge okay you got your swash perfectly level and now's a good time just to put a pitch gauge on your blade grip or your blade if you're using a regular pitch gauge and make sure you have zero pitch. Uh, this will get your blade tracking correct. If you don't have zero pitch, you can see I have zero pitch, then you would adjust this link here. And what I like to do is move my pitch gauge to my other blade and make sure it's at zero. If it's not at zero, then I would adjust this link on the other blade. And that's it for step G. Let's move on to step J. Press the button until you get to J. We're on J. Move your pitch gauge over the boom. Okay, you should have zero pitch. And we want to go to six degrees. by moving move the aileron till we get six degrees and OK, 
Okay, we're at six degrees. And ideally, you want to have the blue light on the AR7200. You can see I have the blue light. Uh, most important thing is to be at six degrees. So that's it for step J. Let's move on to step K. Press the button until we get to K. OK. And move the blade grip over the boom. OK, so on step K, we set our pitch. We want to make sure we have a linear pitch curve set up in our radio. And looking at our pitch gauge, we would move, we're at full negative here on the radio, and we would just move the rudder to adjust our pitch. I'm going to go to 13 degrees. Okay. Then we go full positive on our radio. And I'm at 13.5. So we'll move the rudder again to go to 13. All right, now I'm at 13. So that finishes up this step, K. And we would just press the button until we get out of programming and that's it you've completed steps G, J, and K